You want to you want to practice the Olympic 100 meter dash? Just sit down there, son. Oh, <laughs> we ain't come for no trouble inside here. You heard that, Jason? I'm the thick, yo. Yeah, boy, I want this one. Now they could call me Bumpy Head. Just sit there, Naina. Just bite, man. You know what I'm telling me? It didn't bite, man. Rub your bottom. <laughs> Just to be a foot, boy? Yeah! Watch my pick. I just have to run when I see this foot coming in. <laughs> but today, but. <laughs> this is mine now. I ain't do too bad. My breadfruit, coconut, three portugal, two aloo, and sweet potato. I deal with that ravine there. I get my fish out of iron for the past three months on the people land. The best part is if it's free, Chef Jason is always getting free. <laughs> Hey, where's that dog and back and I do Hey, where's that man boy? Hey, hey, what are you doing there? Hey, I'm talking about your nap. You fight? Yeah. Let me go, make sure you are. Yeah. Let me go, make sure you are. Yeah. All right, okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. I'm done, I'm done. What are you doing there, boy? Hey. Yeah, I feel just like that, make you a clock, you know, one hand long, one hand short. I feel so too, boy. Time up, time up, time up. Don't cry, boy, don't cry. I didn't mean nothing, you know. I didn't mean nothing, you know. I didn't mean nothing, you know. Where are you from? My name is Jason. Take on that shit, take on that shit. I just from Monroe Road side by Chief Rod, what up? Hey, boy, hey. Look at that, Chef Jason, boy. Yeah. Look him, look him, look him, boy. So why you this man, boy? We know you, boy. We know this man, boy. Real good, boy. So. I trip up here and a family oh, home to feed, man. And I just come to get some breadfruit and some pumps or something. Don't get on so, don't get on so. Come and cook something. All right, all right. Come now, man. Come, come. If you should say who you really is, Chef Jason. Who is that? Come now, man. Come. We go and cook something now. Come, come. Hey, come fast. All right. Come in. You know, well, as promised, we're outside again and we're in Caparo right now. Rough terrain, we're in the Maharaj residence in the Caparo farm here. Today is going to be action pack. We're talking about Cascado, we're talking about conks. We're going on the fruit farm right now. We're going to be cooking up a scene today here. And as you can see, action level already. Stick with us. Let me just. Is Buddy going through already? <laughs> hey, are you ready for level, mother? <laughs> Action in the waves! Only one we outside! Let me do it! Yes. Yeah. Say in there, Bego. When you say, hear this. Run in! You all can't say I don't clear the path for you guys. And Rick, you can pass through. Ellis here, right? Ellis first, Ellis first. Ellis first. You go, boy. You have a real sweet orange tree here, but With this one? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's where this one is. You get them this one, they can wash chicken, isn't it? It's so. Yeah, why? <laughs> Yeah, And that one is just break open and it's be like nice yes. creamy inside. Cream. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I do two stretches in the morning. You want to you want to practice the Olympic 100 meter dash? You just sit down there, Sandra. That's Jeff. I start to Jeff. They're fairly hostile. If it gets in the way, but let me angle. Let me leave that. Let's not get in the way now. We ain't come for no trouble inside here. You good there, Jason? I'm the thick, yo. Yeah, boy, I want this one. What? A just thing, yeah? I just thing, them. Right in there is a pain in the head now, but I'm lucky I ain't getting my. Hey, devil. Jeff's a Terry no, 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 sir. Jeff's thing, chef, and he's behind. All right. Behind, <laughs> Now they could call me Bumpy Head. <laughs> the bite, man. You know what I'm telling me? It's a bite, man. Rub your bottom on that. I handle these people. So, this is our yellow pui tree. But the reason why we have cut it off because it's like when we come to work and thing, we just have to use our crook stick to hook the grass to pull. So, we'll just cut it, cut here, and use this as a lever to hook and pull as a tool to harvest and fruit and all kinds of things. One of the reasons why we will use a poetry tree in particular, it's a very hard wood, very sturdy. So one crook stick will probably last here a year, two years. So as you can see all the sign earlier, we see like we have, look we have edos growing there. 
Yeah, I'll sweep it too. You're telling me something about Rolina. Right. We go in there, you're going to see it. The thing that is very, very beautiful about doing the show is that we get to meet up with people such as yourself who are out there working on the fields yeah. and know the potential for agriculture in this country and what the land could bring forth that we could sell, feed our people and sustainability is such a big thing when it comes to agriculture here in Trinidad today. Well, definitely. Once you can feed yourself, you're good. So like you say, like if you're like in a area like this, you will walk into the land and not come out empty handed and you must find something to cook. You live off the land. You live off the land. You will get Right, Jason, I was asking about conch, boy. Well, yeah, come on, Ilan, I had to find conchs. So we had to find something here to eat, you know. You going down there just for your foot, boy? Yeah, watch my pick. I just have to run when I see this foot coming, you know. <laughs> but today, but... <laughs> hey, hunt a man boots, you can't go wrong with that, you know. Yeah, so, if you check there, we have some cassava leaves put in the corner there. The cassava leaves now is like one milk. So when they go down and go down current, the conchs will be attracted to it and they'll come up to it. Sweet. Go down and see if they're home, boy. Eh? 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 Thing, boy. Sweets. Sweets know where the honey pot is, boy. Make it full. Cassava work, eh, boy? Yeah. yeah. Look how the stems missing. Look what they're eating it. So they're eating it. They're feeding on it. Yeah. So try and bagel. This is what it is about. Conks. Well, Jason, we catch them there. That's not there. So time to clean them. So they're natural stump. This is a natural cotton board here. Yeah, yeah. This is tenderizing board. So you show them what to do there. You're doing it on top? Yeah. Crack the front. And as simple as that, they just come out. Yeah. Right. That red thing? This yeah. is the mouth. That's the mouth. You don't eat that? No. Nah. Re, check this out. That's actually the teeth. It's a sort of a rough abrasive thing, so that breaks down their food. Yeah. I have all my goggles. You need anything you prepared enough. So you tell me on top here, right? Yeah. Now you go take training, good enough. <laughs> That's why I come out here with the bush boys, is it? Yeah. <laughs> So typically, we just go and wash these out, remove, and this part we could cut out. Yeah, I've cut out there. Yeah. And that's our conks, ladies and gents. Cascadoo time, people. Wow, that's amazing, Uncle. Full, full. Hey, hey. The man still catch, boy. I catch one cascadoo. No. What do you say, Zara? Watch what our man catch. Oh, cool. no. <laughs> Look, <laughs> man. man. Hey, real man, hey, boy. I ain't do too bad, you know. Fellas pass it here and they tell me that how they just throw back this size. Took these, they think something like it fat. <laughs> yeah. I think the kind of no manners, everybody, everybody is treating uh, me bad here, man. One of this is to cover the rice. Two of this, go make it real nice. And you see three of this, you have to look for the rice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it better than that. You can't get it better than that. At least one person believe it, man. <laughs> Hey, look, don't fall in your home. <laughs> Let me go home! Hey, don't fall in your home. Just thing, remember the concrete just catch by? Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to clean it, bust it, pong it, soften it up and everything. It's from out of the shell, right? Out of the shell, yeah. So what you'll do, you just cut it and tenderize it and season it up and cook it. Well, I'll show you now is the time. Well, I don't waste time, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Pimento, parsley. parsley. I've seen um, shallow bed inside there. Yeah. So you'll see most of the cheap brand salt and the black pepper. So you tell me that how this pretty much pre-cooked, so pre -cooked. I could, I, you yes, could, it, it could. Yeah. Mmm! Mm. 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 We ain't even ready to chunk it out yet. We're going to do a madras curry with that. You know cheap brown madras curry? Mm -hmm. Boonjay is done with that. But I feel, I feel we can do something to spice up a little bit in there. You know? We can add some of this. Ah, you cheap brown clove? Yeah. So the clove essence obviously will quell a little bit of the freshness inside here. Show thing, show thing, show thing. Ooh. You know you're a wild meat specialist, right? Yeah. So obviously, when you're using these clove essence, like the old spice and the clove and stuff inside yeah. there, but kill whatever rank or freshness is inside there. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Nice. Mm. Mm. I've seen some kind of wet and white in there. Oh, yeah, that's coconut milk. So you see with coconut milk too? Yes. It tries to be a nice creamy, creamy, creamy um, gravy in it. Jason, remember that's when you were catching these two, right? Right. Yeah, right. So, we have them here, clean already. We have to stuff them. Here we have the green mango with a little bit of the amchar masala and jira. So this is the same green mango. So this is like this one here? Yes, this same green mango here. So you'll normally peel it and, and just cut it. So this way you like make amchar mango and stuff like yes, that? Yes, yes. So you're you're cut it like that, you grate it? Yes, grate it. Just take it and you put it in the cavity. Yes, stuff it in like that. You can have yourself a Thanksgiving task to do, you know? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it really. Pretty much just a season of the same way, black same. pepper salt. So yeah, and yeah, some black pepper. Hey, let, let, let's try the allspice essence. I right, put a little inside there too, guys. Yes, you know, cascadoo tends to have a little bit of mud taste in it. That is true because obviously when we went in the lake, they fit. Yeah. <laughs> it had real mud inside there. Yeah. So you mix it up just like that. Yeah. I know if you want to, I know if you want to try some of the green seasoning in there. 
Nice. Clean it. Come on, how beautiful this looks, guys. Read, come and get this. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that's how a casker do. So here we're gonna do. We're gonna continue stuffing all of them. Yeah. And let me get the chula ready. Yeah. And let me start the, and let me start the chunky. Yeah. This one we're using the chief brand fish masala. Then. Okay. Let, I can't wait to taste that. Let's do it. All right, Jason. Heat boy. Oh, watch here, place hot. Bring some oil. Let me see what we're doing on this pot, baby. You bring me in a shed here. I get Jeb by doing my hair thing hot. You put me in front of that huh? Well, we're gonna need the oil and we're gonna now. And the conks. Yeah, and the conks. We train some onion and garlic and then. Right, so that's what we call poor and eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we hate it. Yes. Cool. Thing sizzling. Thing. You can handle it, you can handle it. That's hot, man. All right, I know how to deal with hot thing. Well, we've got three more and see what's going on there. You know you have to have a piece of pepper inside it. Making curry kongs, making curry casket do. You have to have some paste in your waist. Fire. Fire! Now, let me hope this pepper is not a two-way burner, you know? <laughs> I see you have a two-way burner here right now. <laughs> because I'm frightened. I eat that and next morning I'll get a call, eh? Well, because I'm going to see how it is in the morning. Well, we go teach you the trick with the ice block and the socks now, eh? Where's the ice? What? what? The ice. If it's burning, let's put the ice block with our sock on your back. <laughs> and I go run down. <laughs> and I go run down. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are we going with? We're going with the Madras curry? Yeah, Madras curry. Nice. It's our authentic curry, and it's brilliant, isn't it? Right. Looking good. So, you just know how much to put? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The spirits are just talk to you. Guide me. Narendra, that is enough. Once it's West Indian, you had them spray. Born with that in the air, you know? All right. So, we're going to put some water. Get them water. You ever see a fancy thing like this? Chunk. That's what we're talking about. So that's typically cooking the curry nice. Yes. Yeah. That's not right. It's ticking up really nicely inside mm -hmm. there, boy. All right, train that conks there. So this is seasoned conks. Yeah. And I had the coconut milk in it already, right? Yes. So you just buy gun that you cut up in your peel yeah. and you just straight it yes. inside there. The buy gun will cut the milk and release a little water in it. And the coconut will also go down and get a nice little bit. So, so while that cooking, we could start with the next pot then? Of, of course. Of course. <laughs> the man said, of course, he's like this, and you ain't getting my more. Yeah. Don't right. drag the flag. Pop in here, let me go. This, the, the city boy, <laughs> The city boy, oh God. Well, they come bring down this boy, I come down in Camparo. Yeah, do I jab next jab this thing here? Yeah. Sounds more speed. Boy, my head feeling heavy right now. Eh? Oh, <laughs> this one we're doing a slight little difference by just. Talk to me. I've seen some spices here, seen meaty. Yes, yes. You just want to patch it, right? Yeah. A little bit of meaty inside there. Yeah. So I don't know, Jason, just putting up, putting up all these in there. So, carpole leaf people, curry leaf, put inside and it's spray up. Get that sizzle. So, the same aromatics that you typically would have done for the same curry. Yeah, yeah. And this is known as the chunky process, right? Yes. Watch now. This thing is extremely hot. Usually, when I finish, do chulha cooks, I lose about two pounds. Well, that's my natural sauna, like bush sauna. Well, like, I could, I could do it shell and a few. Hey, that, hey, that, that's energy storage, but. What we do now? Then, well, after adding the curry and thing. Alright, so for this one, we're using the. Fish masala. Yes. This one actually has amtru powder and it has mango powder. So this is really tailored for like making curry fish. And we're making curry casco. You want jira? Yes, a little bit of jira. Oh, they, you want turmeric or saffron? Nah, or? madras curry. Madras curry. So this is the Chatak chief brand madras curry from the heavens above. The real deal, the real curry. So this is just bolster the flavor a little bit. Yes. So you mix and curry. You are a man that like to mix curries. Yes. You get different flavor profiles. Yes. You see this, you see this green mango? You're going to put in that in the curry to cook. Really? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's a cook. So you're putting that inside there? Yeah. So like curry mango? Yeah. <laughs> you see fire man and the water man all in one way. That's a lady. So what we're going to do now is let the mango cook a little in here. And then you're obviously going to put that inside. Yes. I know a much better state, free my mind, mm -hmm. and my emotions are a little more settled now. Eh? Well, definitely. I was scared out of my wits. But but I, I smell nothing, so it wasn't so frightening. <laughs> <laughs> I love Narendra too bad, you know. And you know, the show is obviously about bringing people together, having fun, educating, entertaining, and of course, showcasing beautiful Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And today, obviously, he showed us about Cascudo. We curry some Cascudo, we caught them, mm -hmm. showing the nets, uh, we stuffed them, seasoned them up. You say for the kongs? Yes. For the first time I learned how to actually harvest kongs. Yeah. Where you have your tag in? Well, we have some chow here. Right? Cucumber. This is the pot you got the jabs thing here. Why? Yeah, don't remind me. That. Right. I saw with that. Some pepper choker. Mm -hmm. Onion, garlic. Pepper. Right. Pimentos. You pong it up. Pong it up. And there's some lime juice. That is kongs chow. So this was actually, you take the kongs and put them in the fire side. Yes. And it's steaming its natural. Yes. Let it steam in its natural thing. Cook in its own shell. 
and then you chop it up and you, you chow it. Chow it, yeah. We had a big offy boy, Ashra. Yes, Ashra. Yeah, Roti Masters. The Roti Masters. Thank you so much for the Roti. You know how it is. You know, I just say thanks to the team, you know. We come yes. out here in Kapara Valley. Where, where, where the team? Sweets, sweets, come now, boy. Come, come, come. Sweets, you know, we had fun today. Thanks so much for the case and whatnot. Where that? Red man. Red man, thanks so much for having us. I mean, you taught us how to cast that net there. I've never done that before. Sweet, your whole team. And that's what Cheap Brand Products is all about, bringing good food, educating, entertaining, having fun. And sometimes, you know, I get in trouble. I get sting and Ellie get beat up, <laughs> but last. But you know, it's family. We outside, Chef Jason out. And we'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the crew and all the welcome back anytime. That's what we're talking about. Family. Sweet. Yeah. You see how the cooking show going, Roy? <laughs> I come here to cook and look where he's under. He has a gun. Now time up, man. Make it in the corner. Where are you from, Taiwan? Oh, man. I got the catch point. You had to be playing for West Indies. <laughs> well, well, that's probably why they dropped me from the team. <laughs> <laughs> we love all this stuff. We love it. It's just a joke. <laughs>